I should do that at some point. Play the drinking game whilst racing. Not on a lap thread, just a regular G thread, but like it would just feed into itself, wouldn't it? If you have, that's like all good drinking games, I guess do that. If you have a bad moment, you're gonna have to like down your drink or something. But then that's gonna cause you to be drunk and have to then, you're gonna then make more mistakes and have to drink more. It's like the perfect, just the perfect drinking game. So yeah, we got GFRED drinking game. The rules are in the description of the YouTube video oh, and in the back. Twitch chat right now. Uh, we got GFRED bingo. The link for that is in the description and the Twitch chat as well. GFRED bingo should be getting an update at some point in the future, but it will always be at the same. Bruffy.com slash GFRED bingo site. Yum. This is the second normal GFRED for the main channel. First one was a pretty standard experience. We're on Xbox for this one. After being on PS4 last time. We will be doing a dad joke before we get to the freeway. As is becoming tradition. Run skippers shall miss out on it. I don't think... I think the people who run skip aren't going to be necessarily too bothered about missing out on a dad joke, to be honest. I made up positions going up here, though. I feel like I'm pretty good at the stairs run. I'm not as good at swimming continuously up the up the stream like we got those on the left who continued the swim. I'm not as good at that. But I think I need to practice it because it is better. Uh, Como16, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription and Plesner with 100 bits. Guarantees that there's no BruffyCon. Guarantees that him joining won't work. BruffyCon 2019, 100% confirmed. No, we're going to TwitchCon Europe. We're having meetups and all the good stuff there. We're not having a BruffyCon in my backyard. Stop it. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Thank you guys for the subscriptions and the donations. All right. Oh, rip. Gfred has been, um, this is the first Gfred I've done since it went up on the main channel, actually. So for those who are watching this as a video, this is taking place on the 13th of January. So this is the date that the third Gfred on the main channel went live. Snow Redemption, the greatest Gfred of all time. But the reception to the first two Gfreds, I was, I was a little bit, I was a little bit, unsure about how it would be received on the main channel. Yum. I know the people on the second channel obviously loved it. That's why we did a hundred of them. <laughs> and the G-Fred celebrate. Oh, I got run over there as well. <laughs> but I was... Oh, dad joke. Dad joke. Um, sorry, before we get there. Here's one. I made a belt out of watches once. It was a waste of time. <laughs> I love dad jokes. There we go. Run skippers missed it. No, it's just for all you non-run skippers. Uh, yeah, but I was I was really oh, a sultan. Christ. Yes, go 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 go! Oh, this is a great find. Running that little bit further down the freeway when everyone just went straight for the cars was an absolute masterstroke. This is one of the best starts I've had for a long time. I do unironically laugh at dad jokes. I laugh at how how dad jokey dad jokes are. Sultan's great. It's not it, it's it's not it's not fantastic sports car top speed wise for like the most of the G Fred, but it's great um, for getting up Chiliad. It's definitely above average. It's just below like the 9F and the Infernus, I would say, overall, unless it's raining or snow. But in which case it's banned in Snow Friends anyway. That's why we ban it in the first place. Alright, this is a good start. Need to focus on this now. Contrary to popular belief, the Sultan really isn't that good off-road. It's off-road traction loss is just the same as every other car. Every other supercar, sports car, it's got an off-road traction loss of one. It's no better off-road than anything else. 
unlike the things like the Omnus and the Tropos, which have better off-road traction losses, so are relatively better off-road. Anyway, yeah, I was, I really was hesitant about how G Freds were going to be received on the main channel, but the first two G Freds already have Nyom. double the amount of views that a G Fred would normally get on the second channel. People seem to be really enjoying it, and that's great. I'm glad that more people are getting to enjoy G Freds because. We have a lot of good moments in them, but I can't believe how perfect the first three Snow Freds were for introducing G Fred to the, the main channel. <laughs> they were absolutely perfect. You couldn't have written it. <laughs> Thank you guys for the, the bits and things. I, I will catch up with everything after the after the G Fred. For those who watch these as videos, I do do these on stream every Sunday evening. It's the final thing that we do. On the Sunday streams on Twitch, profi.com slash schedule gives you the times of all my streams. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. If, it might not be... Uh, this This could be... This has the chance to be a nice G-Fred. It was a good start. I'm, I'm clearly in the lead. Oh, what a scumbag! But these are always the ones that people don't like to watch. People like to watch me fail, which is understandable because obviously for you guys it's entertaining. For me it's not so much. <laughs> first G-Fred I get to see live, well welcome to your first live G-Fred. But I think that's the beauty of G-Fred, like you could be having the perfect run and then a choke can happen at any moment. You just never know, especially with me. So I'm okay with boring G-Freds because that means I've usually done well, but Yum. you guys all hate it and I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with me having a good time every once in a while because it doesn't happen often enough. Well, it doesn't happen very often. It probably happens often enough. All right, first choke point. I don't normally have starts that good, to be fair. That's it. That looks like an awfully long... Oh, that was close. Wow, that was close to going too far off the edge. <laughs> I thought I was... I have done that once. Actually jumped too far. Straight in the pot. Perfect. Wow, look at this lead. Look at this gap. So that was second, third and fourth that we passed on the ramp going down over. So I've got a decent, a decent gap, but it can quite easily go wrong at any moment. So I just gotta, I just gotta stay, stay calm, focus. The last time I was in such a good position was the race phase, Fred. I will stick to that, I think. If I, if I get a 9F or an Infernus on the highway and get away as cleanly as I what I did with the Sultan and this G Fred, I will do another race phase, Fred. But the Sultan isn't on the level of the 9F and the Infernus. It's almost there, but not quite, so I don't feel the need to do a race face Fred. Maybe I'm finally going to showcase to the main channel how a G Fred should be done. The first three Snow Freds were definitely a case of how G Freds should not be done. <laughs> Maybe I could finally showcase a proper G Fred or an ideal situation G Fred. Maybe I can break the Xbox stream record. I'm getting ahead of myself now. Let's just let's just <laughs> take it one step at a time. <laughs> let's get up Chiliad first. Nine F. I'm not gonna take it. I mean, apart from the fact that it wastes time taking it and getting it. Every time I switch a decent car for a nine F, I have a terrible time in the nine F. It's just what happens. 
I feel like, unless I get a 9F at the start, I have a pretty bad time in them. Because I, I get this false sense of security that I'm in a 9F now, all is perfect, nothing can go wrong. And inevitably, of course, everything goes wrong. 9F will remember that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. Because, I mean, I would have lost, what, 20, 30 seconds from going back and getting those 9Fs. So, there goes the win. All of you in the chat are not agreeing with this decision. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful transition from the Sultan. I feel like I've also not given the Sultan enough credit. I think someone left a comment regarding that as well at some point. I, I pass up the Sultan too often or I'll, I'll get out of it like for a 9F. If it was an Infernus I would totally... The Infernus is one of my favourite cars in the game. Of course it's my favourite car for a G-Fred. I'm going to take an Infernus but a 9F is... Oh what a scumbag! 9Fs have a level of unpredictability that is ripe for me to fail at it miserably so and we'll stick with the sultan for now he's it's a got, scumbag he's an absolute scumbag it's gonna have the all-wheel drive up chiliad not quite the same power but it is it, i mean the sultan is a little it's basically the sultan is a worse 9f it's just a slower 9f but i would say it's more consistent All right. Come on, Sultan. Do me proud. Oh, what a scumbag. Right, we got a decent little gap. I don't think I'm going to be breaking any kind of stream records or Xbox, even the Xbox One record. I think you really do need a 9F or an Infernus to be doing stuff like that these days. The Sultan just doesn't have the raw speed. It's just dependable. Sultan is dependable. Dependable, Fred. What do we call this one? <laughs> no! Unless you are named Bruffy1322 and like to cause issues for yourself of course but then again in a situation like that people asking why didn't I take the 9f then if the Sultan is just a worse 9f I, I would have lost time going back to steal the 9f So in that situation, it's not necessarily the case that it's always better to, you know, go and steal a car. I probably would have made the time back, but again, we're going for we're going for dependableness in this one. Buy the books, uh, buy the books, Chief Fred. Although there is a 9F hunting me down, that's slightly worrying. That's probably one of the 9Fs that I let go, let go past me. <laughs> one of the 9F that I should have taken. Oh no. No 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 we're all right we're all right come on come on come on we're all right we're all right we're all right okay that could have been worse that could have been much worse we're all right we're all right we're all right I'm telling myself that we're all right so that means we're gonna be all right. Train. Although it kind of came at the perfect time. That'll do. All right. Ooh, that could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse. Now we've got to navigate past people in the train tracks. gonna get to this end before he does so he's gonna have to wait perfect 
Maybe I should have taken the 9F. I'm second guessing myself now. Now that I know that there's a 9F in second place chasing me down. <laughs> I'm, I'm bec I've become very aware of the speed of the Sultan in comparison. <laughs> it's not quick. Another train! Oh, that's not the way to get up on the train tracks. <laughs> Panic on. All right. All right, good. Good, good, good. Stream record is a 19 or 9. I'm not beating that. I think the Xbox stream record which I set relatively recently. I think it's the only Xbox time, supposedly, that has be, ever been under 20 minutes. It was a 1950-something. It's on the historical stat sheet, if anyone wants to check it up. Now that we've got past Chile yet, I can start thinking about that. Oh my god, he's a lot closer now. Okay, let's... Let's, let's not panic. Let's not panic. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm okay with my decision to keep the Sultan. Whatever happens, because I know that if I gone back and taken one of those 9Fs I know exactly what would have happened I would have had a little mistake on Chiriad, hit a random little bump, well like I did, I had a bit of a nightmare coming down Chiriad, the 9F would have rolled over and it would have exploded going for consistency with the dependable Sultan Mr. Dependable He is even closer now. <laughs> I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with how much closer he is. Like this is this is a this is a G Fred showing how to do a G Fred, at least relatively flawlessly, without too much issue. But I'm still I'm still under pressure. What? Come on, come on, get it going, get it going again, get it going. See, I'm trying to be... Oh, are you for real? Oh my god, are you for real? <laughs> no way! No way! Oh my god, it's Laggy McLagson from earlier as well. Oh, I'm so done with this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what a scumbag! I should have switched. I should have switched. I don't believe it. It's all over. It's all over. I mean, I'm not... I'm not going to beat the 9F up the hill. You've got to be kidding me! No! How is that possible? That is accurate. I played it too safe. I played this G-Fred too safe. I was even being safe. He was in second place. He could afford to take risks and therefore be quicker as well. I was too busy playing it safe and I've thrown it away. Absolutely thrown it away. Talk about second for life. If I'm, you know, if the parachute works. Oh, oh he's lagging so hard. <gasps> Is that lag or am I actually getting back into the lead from the, from the parachute? Maybe he doesn't know the tricks on how to be quick with the parachute. Back into the lead. It's not over yet. It's not over until you get to the island. It's normally over when you get to the parachute jump, to be fair, but...
Get your saved emotes ready. <laughs> Not gonna beat the Xbox record. Maybe I could have done if I'd chosen the 9F. We bring it back Yum. right at the death. I don't believe it. I thought it was over. I genuinely thought it was over. <laughs> Thing is, he was Yum. he was lagging so hard. Yeah, he finished six seconds behind. The parachute! The parachute saved me! For once, the parachute actually helps me. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Thanks for all the GG's in the chat. I thought I'd lost it. I genuinely had. That was an absolute tortoise and hare. All the way through. Absolute. Being the tortoise. Playing it safe all the way through. Just being Mr. Dependable. Got overtaken at the end. You thought you were going to lose it but then managed to save it on the final little bit. What are you doing? There you go. How to do a G-Fred. Just not, just having a better car. Do what I did. If you want to do a G-Fred, take out this small mistakes, yeah. then have a better car than I did, and you'll be perfect. <laughs> he must not have known how to be as quick on the parachute like that's a mate there's so many facets of gfred it's not just about driving from one point to another you've got to know how to be quick at each stage even on the parachute jump i'll take i'll take that first win of 2019 <laughs> beautiful good old sultan Yum. mr dependable the gfred spirit never give up i had given up i thought that was over after I got passed by the 9F. But the, the Sultan, Mr. Dependable, it kept me going exactly where I needed to go all the way through. And it just allowed me to do what I needed to do right at the end to take the win. That was intense at the end, but I thought it was over. <laughs> it's rare. It's rare these days that I see that screen. Me winning no. or any race at all, let alone a Gfred. A tortoise always wins in the end. It was a true tortoise and hare race. Thank you, Sultan. Thank you, Sultan, for giving me what I needed to be able to get the win at the end.